All right, hey guys, Shrift Christian here today with, and we're back with Stranger Things Episode 7. I am so sorry about the delay of Stranger Things at the moment. I know I'm late with it. Um, if you didn't catch my community post, I pretty much said um, <coughs> I get my new internet on the 21st, so and I only have so much mobile data, so I've saved the mobile data mainly for the anime reactions that come out on a day. I'm going to upload this in Umbrella Academy straight after each other, so it's going to be a bit of a spam upload day, and then things are back to normal after the 21st, which is, should be uploaded, so I think it should be fine after this is uploaded. Yeah, so last episode we had Dustin, Mike, and Eleven have all made up now and had that moment towards the end of the episode, which was really nice. Um, Nancy and Jonathan are doing their own thing, which I like. I like those two working together, and Hopper and the mum are doing their own thing as well and discovering and discovering a lot is on top of that i like that all three all three teams we follow i like all of them it's gonna be fun to see if they ever actually unite um but now i'm loving how um they're all uncovering the mystery at a pretty decent speed hopper absolute legend still my favorite character but than that guys i've got not too much to say about this but to get into this reaction so if you enjoy this reaction please like and subscribe i try and do two of these a week and i'm doing along with this i'm doing umbrella academy and some seasonal anime if you enjoy that stuff as well but let's get into this Not she missing the wig. Yeah. Smooth Mike, smooth. Oh yeah, we've got the house invasion as well, haven't we? That all coming for him. <laughs> Shit, I'm dad's gonna get this one. Oh. Looks like the story's gonna kick off now. Wait, Dustin, what have I kept looking out? Oh yeah, she got psychic power. That's gonna help him out, isn't it? Reinforcements have arrived. Rambo is coming in. Boy, kaboom! Ah, oh, that was satisfying. She's getting pretty powerful with that. See, if I was at the adults, we know they're using radios, get part of the radio frequency, and then fucking get a whole hostage to the parents and threaten them with him. Be like, oh, we'll kill your parents if you don't return the laughing to us. Oh, is Lucas going to apologise? Oh, the crew's back together. Conflict over. It's like we get we get we're sharing information now. I, I I don't understand. You think my son is hiding to school? What happened to her hair? We just need to know if he's <laughs> the dad, the big investigator. Absolutely not. Our son with a girl. Who's she dumb? I'm afraid I can't answer that. Now, is she Russian? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking dad. It's good to think some of the adults are looking at this because if it was just up to the kids, they couldn't do certain things like take them down, whereas Hopper can do that. Now, it would get well back and then it'd just be even worse if um, Hopper went about. <laughs> Mate. Keep forgetting this is set in the Cold, Cold War. It always throws, goes, always throws me off when I say that. It's a good time period to put this sort of thing, actually, though, because you would have all these secret labs and stuff like that, which is pretty interesting. That'd be that time period. Oh, we all the characters to find that about him now. Fuck, he got wrecked, didn't he? Oh fuck! Hey, what's your problem? Man? You, you deserve that. You're both assholes. That's my problem. Whoa! Now, you shouldn't have done that. Done what? You know what? You mean what? Oh, a bit of car a bit of character development for him. I like that. You're not just keeping him as a one one dimensional character. Radio. Yes, the Wills radio, any? 
Fuck off, man. That's not gonna help him. Know you're in trouble, and we know about the girl. Why is she with the chief? How the hell does he know? We can protect you. We can help you. But you gotta pick up. Are you there? Do you copy? Over. Answer to Hopper, my friends. Come on. You can see why there'll be a bit of thingy there. Ha! <laughs> Got two squads. Ha! <laughs> Making the force now. Yes, Steve. Fucking ledge. Hey, this is first step to redemption. There we go. Is this the anchor man or something? <laughs> no, we'll just take them out with his fist. I've got the adults' help now, mate. I wonder, really wonder what they're going to do for season two for this. <laughs> Better than impressed by the kids figuring all this out. Strong electromagnetic field, and that can change the directions of a compass needle. Gate underground. Yes. Near large water tank. Yes. How do you know all that? That's not him. Makes up as a savage. Is there any way that you could? Fun. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh, activate this passion. Come on. Oh, played. <laughs> Dustin playing him. Why are you keeping this curiosity door locked? Mate, imagine that all the deaths they caused by the ice by not being graveled. How do they get into school so easy all the time? <laughs> yes. Is he like eleven? What? No, you both. Already telling lies to each other. Will's going to have some like fucking big survival perks in the next season if he lives through this. <laughs> Ew. The intensity of this world. I'll sort of slime on it. I do love the way these scenes are shot though. Or is that where Will's hiding at the moment in the other world? So like his base of operations. Alright, so once we go in the other world the nowhere bats, he is there, which is the castle. That's pretty cool. Makes a bit more sense than him looking all over the other world for him. I'm glad he's not like moving though, because I wouldn't be I'm not surprised if he's starving. Mate, she be down, wouldn't she? <laughs> Fucking friend's dead after all that. She went through. I'm glad they kind of didn't go down the route that the post was alive. That would be lame as hell. She would definitely die. Ooh. They're going to need to bring Eleven with them. <laughs> Why is everywhere so easy to break into in this area? We're getting the supplies back. And what the kids gonna be doing? <laughs> that guy's we're gonna let you in that easily again. How the fuck is he still alive? Imagine if he dies before they get to him. What's going on there for us?
Okay, we're just going to end the episode there. Surely he has no energy to move now, though. Ooh, one more episode to go. Wow. So curious what we're going to do for next season. I'm curious what we can do. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people thought that wouldn't have been in that second season. But fun episode. It's nice to see everyone finally get together at a reasonable pace. And yeah, Hopper trying to do the same thing as he did before. I'm glad the villains didn't just fucking fall for that again and it was actually prepared this time. So it looks like it's up to Jonathan. I think, yeah, I think they need to utilise Eleven more. And it looks like the kids are probably going to have to do their own thing to get out of this. But no, glad they're story's moving forward and it is going to come to a climactic end but yeah fantastic episode even steve had a bit of a redeeming moment in this episode i'm sure i'm sure he's going to do something in the last episode maybe in the second season mainly but i'm glad they didn't just make him one dimensional as well fun episode so guys hopefully you enjoyed this reaction if you did i will hopefully see you next well when i hope to see you next later hopefully see you in the next episode please like and subscribe if you enjoyed guys